So we're here with Dr. Gustavo Elias and Dr. Samir Hijaz to talk about venous disease. One of Viva's specialties is vein treatment, and varicose veins is often the first thing that comes to mind. Dr. Hijaz, tell us what are varicose veins? Sure, yeah. So there are abnormal veins in a sense those are veins that are not working properly um, that your leg is not really relying on to drain the blood back to the heart they develop throughout the life throughout our lives uh, typically have a genetic predisposition to it you could see sometimes family members uh, that have them um, they develop throughout life also due to lifestyle uh, changes you know being up on your feet and working long hours they can can contribute to the development of those veins that are symptomatic uh, that not you know at times can be lifestyle limiting okay well. and you talked about certain careers what are some of the careers that really are impacted and would cause varicose veins sure being up on you know uh, for a long time up on your feet being a cook in a restaurant being a waiter or a waitress you know we see that being in the healthcare field yeah. you know nurses are being up on their feet and doctors you know we suffer from varicose veins too okay yeah. good to know <laughs> the doctor Elias what are some of these symptoms that you can expect well, you know, it's uh, it's funny because varicose veins, you, you normally think of, you know, the big bulging veins in the legs that, you know, are very ugly and they're unsightly, you know, when you go out in the summer and the beach time, you know, people don't like having big varicose veins in their legs. But it's not just that, it's also, you can have leg swelling, um, you can have leg pain, leg heaviness, um, itching, restless legs. So a lot of symptoms that people don't necessarily think are due to varicose vein disease actually can be from varicose vein disease. And you talked about restless legs. What exactly is restless legs? Restless legs is that very uncomfortable feeling that you have to stretch your legs out. It's an uncomfortable feeling in the legs. Um, typically occurs in the nighttime and also um, can affect your quality of sleep. Okay. Dr. Kirjaz, are there certain risk factors that are associated with venous disease or, or varicose veins? There are slightly increased risk of actually developing clots you know, in the, in the deep veins. Uh, there is risk, depending on where you are on that spectrum of varicose vein disease, this being a mild disease to severe. In severe cases, we see venous stasis ulcers forming, which are wounds on the legs that uh, don't necessarily heal in a timely fashion, largely because of the underlying veins, those veins that are underneath the skin, not really helping drain the blood uh, appropriately, causing that swelling and leading eventually to those wounds not really healing in time. Okay. Uh, Dr. Elias, talk about the treatment options that Viva offers for varicose veins. Uh, so when a patient comes here for a varicose vein consultation, we'll evaluate them, take a look at their legs. Um, the treatment options can vary depending on what veins need to be treated. Um, some of the more common treatments that we offer include uh, radiofrequency ablation, which is a fancy word for actually burning the vein on the inside so that we seal it shut. Um, we also offer a foam sclerotherapy. It does a similar thing to that where we use a small needle, inject a small sclerosin medication into the veins that will chemically cause the veins to seal shut. Um, and those are some of the two major options. Yeah. Dr. Hijaz, you can comment more on that. It is one of the more satisfying procedures that we actually perform you know, in, in mm -hmm. our field. It's just pretty gratifying to actually see the patients come back and tell us our symptoms have significantly improved. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, those are the main ones. It's shutting down those veins that are not working properly uh, and the body is smart enough to, to move the blood into the deeper veins that you have another set of veins that return the blood back to the heart. Okay, great. Yeah, exactly. And there's another uh, procedure, I think, is it the venous seal that takes place? Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah venous seal is a medical grade glue that we can inject into the vein to close it shut. Um, you know, just to reassure people, it's not something we're going over to Michaels or an arts and crafts store <laughs> to get. This is all, you yeah. know, very safe, very effective treatments that we offer. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, Dr. Shikajaz, we're going to pull up a before and after photo and show it on the screen of one of your patients. Sure. Can you tell us a little bit about his situation and, you know, his treatment? Sure, absolutely. So this is a patient who presented to me complaining of symptoms of restless legs, leg swelling uh, in the evening uh, after being up for prolonged periods of time. And this is a typical story. This is, this is the story that we get. Um, we typically scan, screen them to see if they've had any prior DVTs or clots in their legs before we proceed with intervention. And then we order a study, an ultrasound study, to look at the veins and evaluate their function, whether they're functioning properly. Um, 
if we find from that ultrasound or that exam that we've done that those veins are not functioning very well, then we formulate a treatment plan. Um, and then we uh, ask the patients to go on a compression, in a compression stocking for a period of time. And typically this is where patients report back to us like, our legs are feeling much better. I can't stand the compression stocking for the rest of my life. Is there a definitive treatment here? Mm -hmm. uh, and the definitive treatment would be shutting down those veins. And essentially what I've done is go in and glue shut those veins. Um, and that's a huge difference when you're looking at the before and after. Oh, absolutely. Significant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the patient's response after, after receiving treatment? Oh, wonderful response. I mean, a few weeks later, he's, he's coming in. He's shown me actually pictures of what his, you know, what his legs looked like before and after. And he was also telling me my symptoms are 100% better. Um, we, we pride ourselves in being experts when it comes to vein, uh, vein treatments. Yeah, absolutely. And Dr. Elias, how long is the recovery and what can someone expect during the recovery period? Uh, recovery period, you know, we always say once the, once the procedure is done, we have our patients in compression stockings uh, at least a week afterwards. Um, they may have some bruising, uh, some pain at the sites where we did our, you know, injections um, of like a feeling like a cord sensation in the leg, um, maybe a little bit of a little bruising at the sites where we went in. but. Overall, you know, after a few weeks, those will go away and the recovery, you know, is pretty smooth after that. Fantastic. Thank you, Dr. Hijaz. Thank you, Dr. Elias, for your time today. We have an office in Richmond. We also have one in Fredericksburg. If you'd like to schedule a consultation, please call the number on the screen.